thank you, my good friend. Do not do that. You know, I, the first time I came to this wonderful place, uh, thank you. I, I remember I was in 3F over there, and I stood to give my name. I was sitting at the back of the class, and when I said, Willow White, everybody laughed. I didn't know why they were laughing. I, you laughed this morning, and I have an idea why you were laughing. Now, um, I'll tell you now, I was hearing a talk about respect, and um, I'm very glad that the speaker added respect of self. Because I tell you something, I used to stand over in that um, area there for assembly. Every morning we had assembly. And um, I used to wonder, who am I? I didn't realize when I was standing over there that this would be a nurturing experience I was having. That this would be an experience that I would carry many memories from this very space with me for years. I'm quite a few years older than you are, but I feel just as nervous as you might do on many occasions. And I tell you something, um, as my good friend Winston has pointed out that I am an international opera singer, it is true. But I never wanted to be a singer. I wanted to be an economist because that was a real man, but I have learned that the thing that you love inside, the thing that you love doing, as the speaker was saying this morning, the thing that you, your talent that you recognize, it's very important to honor it. And I was saying the same thing to one of your fellow students last night, and he's sitting out there, and you might remember, I won't point him out, but um, I was saying the very same thing because I suffered from not being able to, to feel that I could actually honor and follow what I had inside. And one particular incident in this hall came back to me, and I've referred to it many times. There's a gentleman named Hugh Sherlock, I think was his name. He came to give a talk. And he said, in line of what you were hearing this morning about respect, of self and so on. He said it's very important to cultivate good habits, to realize the power of a habit. And he made the demonstration that the word habit, it's very hard to get rid of it when you actually have it. Because if you look at the word itself, if you take off the H, you have a bit. And if you take off the A from that word, take off the H already, and you take off the A, you have bit. It's still there reminding you of its, its power. And if you take off the B, what have you left to it? It's still there. And it's there to remind you of its power. So to cultivate good habits, because it's very hard to get rid of them. Just as it's very hard to get rid of bad habits. So, there's no problem. It's very easy, actually, to decide and cultivate good habits. And it's because of the cultivation of good habits why you're here on time this morning. And I encourage you to cultivate good habits because it will nurture you. The habit of respecting yourself. And so I learned to sing in these halls on this stage. I actually, when I was out there, I never thought that I would be standing here one day. Yeah. Well, let's sing a little bit of it. When Israel was in Egypt's land, let my people go, oppressed so hard.
Chibu.